Yes, well, she kept us watching week after week for nine seasons on the hit primetime soap, Dynasty. She now, I know, I love her. And she now has a new book out called Recipes for Life. It's really cool, it's a, it's a mixture of like memoir and cookbook. Please welcome back the gorgeous inside and out, Linda Evans. <laughs> all day long. Oh. Last time you were here, we made a deal that you would come back and cook. Thank you for keeping your word. And thank you for inviting me. I'm Yay! so excited to be here with you. We're thrilled. So, the theme of the show is wine and cheese. I know you are a big wine buff, just like myself. Yes. Do you have a wine recommendation that we could maybe share with people? I love Pinot Grigio because you almost can't get a bad bottle of Pinot Grigio. That's true. It's my mother's favorite grape, too. Oh, yeah. well, that's yeah. what I like. There you go, swimming in it. <laughs> um, so, you know, I was just saying when I was introducing you, it really is an original book because it is about a lot of storytelling and food, and that's one of the things I love about food, is that it's that sense of community and coming together with people. Where did you come up with the idea of marrying the two? Well, because I love people, I love food, I have a passion for cooking, and I look back in my life and with all the things that I was lucky enough to experience with my fame and fortune, is the things that were the dearest to me were the times I spent with people. Yeah. And whether it was the simplest of meals, you talk, you get intimate, it's the greatest thing in life. It's free to everyone, we That's can right. all experience yeah. it. That's why I love cooking so much. It's got so much love, you give it to people, and then you get back that look from them when you give them something that they love. What's one of your favorite meals or, or food memories that, that's, that's from the book? Well, you know something? The first recipe that I got in my life was from John Wayne. No uh, kidding. Yes, the first well, recipe. Well, that's a story, Linda. <laughs> no, and, <laughs> and my, my ex-husband, John Derrick, was friends with him. And we used to go with him on his boat, and we'd go to his house in Newport Beach. And there was a crab dip that I had that I almost ate the whole thing. And I said, do you now, think? Now, can, can you imagine John Wayne giving you a crab dip <laughs> recipe? I mean, that's so weird. <laughs> hey, I, I have a green chili cheese casserole recipe in here uh -huh. that when he would go to work on location, he would come up to his wife, Pilar, and she would have it written out on a piece of paper. He'd fold it up, put it in his pocket so the people on the set could make it for him when he was on location. He loved that, it so much. I love knowing that. He was walking around his with little, a recipe in his pocket. It was so endearing. Because he wanted it, yeah. Now, we're going to talk about apple pie now, but it's because you, like me, I uh, think it's a great hostess gift. Well, can you imagine? Food. Food is a terrific hostess gift. Well, I appreciate so much when somebody makes something because you put your time and energy and love into it. Exactly. I mean, I almost prefer it to somebody buying me something in a store. Yeah, absolutely. This is like extraordinary to me. And this is one of the best pies I've ever had because you take apple cider as the base and a lot of recipes have apple cider, but you cook two and three quarters cups down to three quarters of a cup. So it gets nice and rich. So it's this super it. rich, concentrated, really apple-y flavor. Yes. I love that. That's, that's my favorite thing about that's this. That's what I like. So, did you use green apples for this? Well, I use Golden Delicious and Granny Smith. Delicious. So you right. got to mix the combination. And then, and then I'm going to pour, look at that reduction. It pours like caramel sauce. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And Gorgeous. I love it. It's right here and I didn't have to do it. Gorgeous. Okay, then <laughs> we have just a teeny bit of salt and we have the sugar, a little sugar. that we're going to put in. And we have the nutmeg, I mean, we have the cinnamon and mace. So it's just a little combination of these two. I like to mix them up so they're mixed oh, up in it. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, we're going to put some flour. A little sprinkle of flour. Uh -huh. You want a hint of lemon juice? Uh-huh. A little tiny bit? Lem lemon juice. Got it. And then we're just going to mix it up. Should we use the hands? Right Is here, that right just, here. Oh, we're going to use go. something. Okay, so you get this all together, and then... Now, now do you make your own pie crust? Now, I have to tell you. With or this... Store because a lot of chefs tell me, forget it, buy it at the grocery store. Well, you can mm -hmm. use this inside with it, but it's much better. This is not the simplest pie crust to do, but 
this one's worth it. If you can do it, it's really worth it. All it just right. really is. See, All you're doing right. the perfect thing here now. Well, you were it. making me feel guilty about the pie crust, <laughs> so I'm going to put the apples in okay, for you. Okay, great. <laughs> so we put this in. And then you just slap that guy on top. We're right? going to put this. Oh, you're going to put some butter in butter there. Butter, because we, we yes. love things that taste good. I mean, I'm all into flavor. I say if you're going to make it, it better be the best, because why go to the trouble if you can just buy it? Exactly. Yeah. And all things in moderation. I mean, I think people are shocked when they see someone as beautiful, elegant, and thin as you talk about how much food they eat, because they're like, where'd she put it? I walk. I walk an hour yep. every day. So you can eat. So I can eat. That's <laughs> the only reason I walk, is to eat. <laughs> That's it. Now, this is the tricky part. We're going to do it really easily here, because... They've got it all set wow, up Wow, that us, was nicely which done. I love, I nicely love, I love. Done. And you know something? You'll see that this crust is delicate, and you're going to go, oh my gosh, what are we going to do? You kind of mush it back together. It doesn't it matter. It looks great no matter what you do to it. Yeah. I've had it fall apart in the middle. I've had all sorts of things happen to it. People go crazy for it. They don't care. It's the flavor you want. It's not going to be absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't matter. It's We're going to have be tasty. this recipe up on the website, but I want to know, in upstate New York, this is my favorite thing. You take warm apple pie and super sharp cheddar cheese, and you melt the cheese down over the pie. Have you ever had that? No. It's so good. You melt it on top of the crust? On top of the crust. You cut off a slice, and then you pop it in the microwave, or pop it back in the oven, or you could cover the whole top with super oh, sharp cheddar. Yum. Take a little bite of that cheddar oh, and imagine that yum. with the apple pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. it's good. Oh my God! What a great idea! With yeah. this, with this syrupy uh, uh, cider, no. it will be phenomenal. I know. Oh my God! I know. Laura, it's a good idea. So you pop. We're this. gonna, we're okay. gonna take a break so that we can cut that pie and eat it with the cheese. But guess oh. what? You guys can all go home and make it because Linda brought books for everybody. <laughs> the lovely Linda Evans. Up next, I'm staying in the kitchen. Garlic cherry burgers right after this.